We're coming into a big phase for you and all the other players. Uh, you've got the defence of your European title next month in France, and then you've got obviously the Olympic Games. Uh, you must have high hopes uh, for both of those. Yeah, yeah. Um, busy period coming up, but also with the three week uh, tour in Asia coming up uh, India, Malaysia, and Singapore as well. Then straight off to France for the European Championships. Then a little break home, then off to Thomas Cup in, in China. And then, uh, then we have a tournament in Indonesia and Australia, and then we have the Olympics. So there is really busy schedules coming up the next month. So, so yeah, um, a lot of tournaments. And do you think you're running into your probably your best form of your career? Yeah, I'm playing well, and I have prepared myself so so good for 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 this coming months. And uh, yeah, I'm very pleased with how things are going at the moment. So I just uh, you know work work on and, uh, and try my best at every tournament. So when we get to Glasgow 2017, you and your teammate Victor Axelson will be leading the European Challenge. Uh, now, you've played two World Championships with mixed success, haven't you? In your home Copenhagen World, uh, World Finals, you got injured, didn't you, straight away? And then last year you got a medal. Uh, presumably you want to build on that and, and do well in Glasgow. Yeah, I felt like I, I had to prove something to myself getting that medal. Um, I think I have been in between the players who had the, the level to win one and I think and I think I you know I somehow I wanted it too much in Denmark and, uh, and I think last year in Indonesia I found the quite a level of balance between wanting it and, and, and just being uh, relaxed and, and playing my best so um, so yeah I think I I think some weight had dropped from my shoulders after getting that medal and I think uh, that'll be an important thing when coming into the, the World Championships in, in Glasgow. And, and is it also a case of it, it is far easier away from home? Did you feel pressure yeah, going into the Copenhagen? Maybe, yeah, I did, but uh, but also think that I learned a lot from that experience. Um, yeah, I, I learned to you know to cope with the pressure and I think, uh, I think last time I hit it quite well and I played some of my best badminton in Indonesia that week. And so would you suggest to Scotland's players they have to have a, a way of controlling the, the energy of the crowd? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Or and just the energy in general. Uh, you need to, you need to, you know, go into it and enjoy it. Uh, like, you know, it, it can lift you up if you do it in a possible way and it can also be a problem if you, if you don't. So you need to be aware of it, that's, that's for sure. And lastly, have you played in Glasgow before? Uh, yeah, I think so. Long time ago, he, the EBU tournament. Um, I can't remember the year, but I was a young kid, <laughs> and uh, and I didn't do well. <laughs> but uh, but uh, I have heard that the conditions are superb, and uh, the stadium should be very good, and uh, and and all the other players who have been there and played the tournament has enjoyed it. So uh, so I'm looking forward to it.